Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawa Shai. Blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawa. And blessed be the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and our Savior. Nathan Mashanakabad Lazakomim Shoya Sharala. Get double honors to the elders of Israel, being the apostles, and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom Wahabla Bachar Shah Sharala, which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. <coughs> Come back at y'all again with another lesson by Harukhachora Shah Maf and the Holy Spirit of Truth. And the topic of this video is going in on how things will begin to speed up. Things will begin, when I say things, I'm, I'm talking about prophecy. Prophecy will, we're going to see what, you know, um, in the book of Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, it says that the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. Let's just, um, let's start off there. That's a, that's a great place to start off at. <coughs> Salakia. This is the book of, um, because you know, we just celebrated our Pesach, the Wadi Yahweh Yahweh you know, um, for allowing us to keep, you know, one of the highest holy days, all right, um, a part of our heritage, part of our laws, and um, we're getting closer and closer to the end of this place, you know, the sand, all the sand is running out, uh, is, is running to the bottom of the hourglass, all right, as you see on your, your screen, time is running out, okay, things are speeding up, it says in the book of Revelations, the devil is shall come down having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He has a short time. Even the devil knows this. So how much more us? Okay. And really, if we if we think, you know, the time is short, the scriptures say redemption uh, is nearer than when we believe. All right. Salvation draw off nigh. And the Lord is coming quickly. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter 16. And verse, let's see, where is it at? Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 37. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. And we see different pains happening, all right? But it's likening the last days onto a woman that's soon to give birth, that's giving birth, right? So in the ninth month, that's when the baby's supposed to be coming out, right? If they, if you, if a woman is pregnant, they give their due date nine months from um, when they uh, pretty much guessed. It's really a guesstimate of nine months, all right? Because that baby is not going to come out that exact day. We don't know the exact day when the baby comes out. All right. October, they say, yeah, October 18th is the, is the due date. It's around that time. All right. Because that baby can come before. That baby can come two weeks before October 18th. That baby can come two weeks after that. Okay. Three days before that. All right. But we're no, we know that we're in that time. Okay. That water is going to break. And when that water breaks, <laughs> you better get your ass to the hospital. Okay. And them contractions begin. See, at first they they they're separated. They're further apart. Okay? But incrementally, they get closer and closer. They begin to speed up. And as they get closer and closer and speed up, they also become more painful. All right? So, that's what we're going to see happen upon the planet Earth. The plagues are going to become more painful, just like in ancient Egypt. We're in the time of the Pesach, right? You read Exodus, the first chapter to the 12th chapter is going into why we keep the Pesach. Uh, all right. Because the Lord was the destroyer was coming in <coughs> Salakia. <coughs> Salakia. The destroyer was coming. It was going into all the houses that didn't have that blood on their doorpost. The blood of a lamb, of a male lamb without blemish upon their doorpost. If you didn't have that on your doorpost, the the, uh, the destroyer was going to come in and bring death in your house, man. It's the same here in modern day Egypt, being America. 
But now you can't just go get a physical lamb. Okay, we rehearse the righteous acts, but the true blood, the true lamb is Yahweh Shai Mashiach and his blood is upon our doorposts, something spiritual. All right, and that blood is what's going to have us exempt from the judgment that's, he, uh, that's to come. Ezekiel 9 and 4. Go through the midst of city and through the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads. Who is the Lord speaking to in that chapter? He's speaking to the angels. All right. And some of them angels had destroying instruments in their hand for what? To bring forth destruction, to bring forth death. OK, the angels is not some little babies. All right. The angels are fierce. OK, to look upon. The, the Bible gives a description of the angels and how awful or awesome they are. Right? So this is the book of 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 37 again. It says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack, as when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two with with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb. Which slacky, which pains when the child cometh forth. They slack not a moment. So things aren't going to slow down. Things are going to continue to speed up. All right. Especially in these, especially around this time of the year. This, the, the real new year was two weeks ago. Okay. And that's why we kept our Pesach um, uh, uh, s s this past Saturday. Okay. Because it says on the uh, 14th, okay, the 14th day of the first month. So we're in the first month. This, the real new year begins now. All right. Things speed up around, you know, Esau's new year, January the first, all right, which is a false new year. OK, but things speed up much more during the real new year. All right. The he, uh, uh, going according to the Hebrew calendar. OK. Which we're in the first month. All right. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse uh, 39, it says, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. The world is going to mourn. All right. And, and more specifically, America is going to mourn the, uh, mourn the most. OK, this place is going to be completely bl obliterated off the face of the earth. This place is going to get nuked. OK, millions of warheads. It's just going to smack this place, man. That's what the prophecy says. All right. This place is going to be burnt up. It's going to be turned into a lake of fire. You wondering what the lake of fire is? It's the 50 states. U.S. of A. That's the lake of fire. As soon as it's going to be set on fire via missiles from um, not only America's enemies, but also its allies is going to turn on them. Via biblical prophecy. And we see it panning out. We see it playing out. Okay. And pretty soon the world is going to see it. You're not going to be able to ignore the prophecies. Because the prophecies is, is in the news. Alright. In the news. Prophecy is in the news. Okay. What's written. What was written thousands of years ago. Alright. Is, is, is now on your TV screen playing out. When this thing begin to come to pass. Then you know that a prophet has been among you. That's why that's why everything is speeding up. Even Esau was dropping articles. Oh, the earth is spinning faster um, on its axis than it's ever have than, than it's ever has. All right. And then they try to give some scientific ass breakdown. The breakdown, the answer is in the Bible. Why is why is time speeding up? Because the Lord shortening the days. All right. As we just read. When the plagues come, it's not going to slack. Okay. Verse 39, it says, even so shall the plagues be, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Okay, so how do we make ourselves Ready for the times that's to come by hearing the Lord's word. Okay. Inclining our ear to the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai that's written in the Bible and is being taught.
correctly and directly through the men, the watchmen that he has set up, through the shepherds, the pastors according to his own heart, the teachers, okay, that he said we would see and that would that would uh, lead us, feed us, and not leave us lacking. Okay, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen. And verse, uh, and that's the point on that. I read 40 again. Oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the battle. And then those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth. All right, a pilgrim is temporary. Everything here is temporary. This place is CTD, circling the drain and everything that's in this place. Your car, your house, we're not invested here. As we continue to read, it's pretty much telling you don't be invested in this place, man. All right, that's when the Lord's Prayer says, give us this day our daily bread. All right. That's sufficient, okay? Godliness with contentment is great gain. All right, we're invested in heaven, okay? We want real estate in heaven, all right? In righteousness, right? So let's go from there. <coughs> Salakia, let's go. <coughs> let's go from there, Salakia. To the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter not Second Ezra, Sirach chapter thirty six, and I'll start at verse seven. I'm gonna start at verse six. It says, "Show new signs and make other strange wonders. Glorify thy right hand, and thy right glorify thy hand and thy right arm, that they may set forth thy wondrous works." And that starts with Yahweh Shai Mashiach sitting on the Right hand of the heavenly father, Yahweh. Okay, it says, raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. Your time is short. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Know ye not this of old, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and but for a moment? You're going to perish forever like your own dung. All right, your time to rule the time of the Gentiles is up. It's over with says that the Lord will no more carry us away in the captivity. The punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Okay? I will visit the sins and the iniquity of Esau, Edom. So the cup is being passed on to you. You're going down. Simultaneously, the nation, the elect of the nation of Israel is being risen up. All right? Raise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary. Who's the biggest adversary? The wicked. Who's the wicked? Malachi 1 and 4. Esau, Edom. He shall be called the border of wickedness. The people on which the Lord has indignation on forever. So that's who the indignation is being raised up for. That's who the wrath is being raised up for. Starting with Esau, Edom. All right, on down to the rest of these heathens and even the wicked of the Lord's people. Take away the adversary and destroy the enemy. All the enemies of the Lord, it's going to be destroyed and it's going to be forced to bow. Every tongue shall confess and e shall confess, and every knee shall bow at the name of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Verse 8, make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. Make the time short. Remember the covenant. Remember what's written. Okay. That's how we should be moving in uh, in the vibration of being under the covenant. Because <laughs> if you're outside the covenant, then you not come, the Lord not coming back to get you. If that blood not on your doorpost, the holy blood of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, if that's not on your doorpost, and if that, do if that blood is on our doorpost, all right, then we need to be living according to that. Okay? We need, which means what? We need to be abiding in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Which means what? We need to walk as he walked. I believe that's 1 John. 1 John the 2nd chapter, the 6th verse. Don't quote me on it. Sirach 36 and 8. Make the time short. Remember the covenant and let them declare thy wonderful works. All right? And that's what we're about to see. More wonderful works of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. This is the end where much glory doth abide. Verse 9, let him that escapeth be consumed by the rage of the fire and let them perish that oppress the people. Okay, that, and that's what's going to be 
That's that's what's going to cl clean the earth. Fire is a cleansing agent. And that's what's going to be used to clean the filth off the face of the earth. All right, it says that the Lord will destroy him that destroyeth the earth. All right. <coughs> okay. You completely destroyed the earth, man. You got everybody sick intentionally. Okay. Because you're weak. You, you try to sicken everybody. Make them all. You, you put all type of shit in the food to make the people docile. That's the only way you can rule. Through lies. Smoke and mirrors. Okay. But you're you're being revealed. Okay. Second Thessalonians, I want to say. It's in uh, first or second Thessalonians. Let me see. I'm drawing a blank on how to quote it. The wicked be revealed. Bear with me. Second Thessalonians chapter two and verse seven. For the mystery of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed. That wicked, that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. So that shows you that Yahweh Shai is coming. Why? Because the wicked is being revealed. I mean, there's really what, what, how much more revealing we need to be doing. You know, he's really about to come out and reveal himself. He's been revealed so much by the prophets. OK, by the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. OK, so he better just come out. Going back into that revelations, we quoted the devil shall come down having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. He's about to show his horns. He's about to show his claws. He's about to show his fangs. All right. He's about to show that he's a goddamn serpent, that he's the devil that the Bible speaks of. All right. It says, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Let's go back to that. Uh, I think there was more on that. Sirach chapter 36 and verse 10. Smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the heathen that say there is none other but we. So the Lord's coming and chopping this place down. Chopping this whole system down. Doing away with it. Throwing the whole system away. Done. And he's establishing a new heaven and a new earth where in dwelleth righteousness. And that process has already begun. The men who he's going to rule that kingdom with, he's they're, they're here doing his work now. They're here on the highways and byways. It says in the book Isaiah 32, it says, A king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. Okay, them princes is out here suffering, all right, in the middle of Babylon. Right? But still praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, still Doing the work of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai because of the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai is upon us to preach good, to preach glad tidings unto the meek and to them that are bound in the prison houses to preach, which is talking about who? The nation of Israel, specifically the elect. Okay, that's who the Lord is coming to deliver. I don't want my desire to be of that number. It says, and let them declare, um, where are we at? Verse 11, Sirach 36 and verse 11. It says, gather all the tribes of Jacob together and inherit thou them as from the beginning, O Lord. So that's talk, that'll show you right there who the Lord's coming to save. The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. It says that in the book of Revelations, the last book of the Bible. 12,000 men out of each tribe and a great multitude. The great multitude is all Israelites. Okay? Vocab know that very well because when he was in Chicago... We so happen to be in Chicago that same week. So I witness, all right, the prophets just just spiritually uh Samuel, like what Samuel chopped up um dude. I can't remember uh his name, but chopped up buddy ass. Right? Spiritually that's how vocab got his ass chopped up by the spirit of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shai. You can't do, if this counsel of this work was of men, it would come to naught. But since it's of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you can't do nothing against it. Okay? Your, your arm's too short to box against the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. 
All right, and that's going and that's being shown and it will continue to be shown on higher levels than it already is being shown in the very near future. When the enemy shall come in like a flood because he knows that he has but a short time, the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashami Yahweh will lift up a standard against him. Okay? Standing on that. Okay? It says, O Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called by thy name. Uh oh. <laughs> so how can you be his people if you don't even know his name? It says, man of, it says men, men of wisdom shall see the Lord's name. Right? It says, and upon Israel, whom thou hast named thy firstborn. O be merciful unto Jerusalem, thy holy city, the place of thy rest. Phil Zion is not talking about them, them people that's in the land today. They not they not the children of Israel. They not the real children of uh, 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 Israel. They not Yasharala. Okay? They ish. Israeli. Right? It says, it says, thy holy city, the place that I rest, fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony on those that thou hast possessed from the beginning, the elect. All right. And raise up prophets that have been in thy name. The prophets is coming in the name of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If you ain't coming in that name, you ain't no prophet. You a false prophet. Reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. Reward them that wait for thee. <coughs> Salakia. This is the book of Habakkuk chapter 2 in verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak. And everything's going to speed up at the end, right? Just like we started off with in 2nd the 16th chapter. At the end of them, you know, the, uh, of the woman's uh, time of carrying that baby or at the end of her pregnancy... Oh, it's time for that baby to come out. <laughs> it's time for that water to break. It's time for her to go through them contractions. It's time for her to feel that pain. Okay? And that's what the that's that's the time that we're in right now. Right? But at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Alright? Though it tarry, wait for it. It shall surely come. Right? Going back into that. Sirach. Uh, uh, 36. In verse 16. Reward them that way for thee. Time is running out for them. We're, co we're coming into everlasting life. We're coming into e e eternity. We're coming into immortality. We're inheriting incorruption while this devil is going down. So, yes, he's going to make all type of crazy ass threats, but he's going down. He's going he, to he, he's going to try to act like he's big and bad. He's going to use little weak ass robots. He's going down regardless. OK. There's no other way. There's no other way possible. That's it. That's the only thing that's going to take place. The Lord's will will be done. And his determination is to gather the nations and pour upon them his indignation. All right. And he's doing that quickly. It says the Lord is not slack concerning his promises. Some men count slackness. Okay. He's shortening the days for the elect's sake. As we just read in the Sirach 36, make the time short. Okay. Make the time short. Bring the adversary down. Take away the adversary. Raise up the elect. Raise up the prophets. Reward the prophets that, that you have possessed from the beginning. That Sirach 36 is, is tough. Okay? Let's go from there. To the book of... We already read that. Or we already quoted that. Let's go. To, I'm going to read one more precept. Second Ezra chapter nine. In verse one, it says, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then 
Shalt thou understand that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he, which he made. So the highest being the heavenly father, Yahweh, and his, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. It says in the book of Isaiah, the 19th chapter, that the Lord will send a savior and a great one because his chosen people is crying on to him because of the oppressor. All right. His elect is crying. Shall not the Lord avenge his elect, which cry day and night unto him? He will avenge them speedily. All right. Luke 18. He will avenge us speedily. Things are speeding up, right? The title of the video. I don't have an exact title. It's something along them lines, man. Things are going to speed up. All right? Things are going to speed up. Prophecy is going to continue to come to pass, but it's going to go into a different gear that we haven't seen before. How do we know that? Second Ezra is the 16th chapter. It's contractions. 2020 was a contraction. The different things that's been taking place between 2020 and now, 2024, have been contractions, major contractions. But now we're in the times where... The contractions are going to speed up and get more painful. All right. We're at the very end of this. The baby is, is, is to come out. Okay. It's your time. <coughs> <coughs> the second Ezra is chapter nine. So we know that the time is now. Why? Because all these signs are coming to pass. All the prophecies are coming to pass. Okay. Ma uh, Matthew is the 24th chapter. What shall be the. Signs that I coming and of the end of the world. Right? That's what the disciples asked Yahweh was shy privately on the Mount of Olives. And he said he gave them different signs that would take place in the last days. That would take place, all right, before he, in because in the last days, the last days mean Yahweh was shy is coming. He's the Adatah, the Alpha and the Omega. Okay? The beginning and the end. So he's coming in the end to do just that, to end this wicked devil. And to set up a new heaven, in which he's already been setting up a new heaven and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Through his prophets, through his spirit that he has put on his prophets. It says, in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. Right? Verse 3, therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. He declared the end from the beginning. And we're seeing it all play out according to biblical prophecy. Not the Quran. The Quran not saying anything. No, no prophecies are in the Quran. All right. That's taking place right now. Or any other book or any other God, so-called God. Okay. The true God is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right. And His word is found in is, is the, is the Bible. His word is the Bible. Okay. And it's being taught correctly and directly by the uh, his prophets, his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. That's how he speaks. And he's speaking in these last days through the spirit all right, of Yahweh, the, 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 uh, through his prophets, through the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right. So that's pretty much it on that. You know, I just had a couple little precepts I wanted to hit with that topic. All right. Uh, I, I know I quoted a couple. Things will speed up. Time is running out. It's over for this. They said that he shall be loose the little season. His little season is up. We quoted that Job. Triumphing of the wicked is short, but for a moment. It's over with. This shit was never supposed to be forever. All right. This is this is a place where that was set up for us to learn our lesson. And so that it can get destroyed right after. And in the kingdom of heaven. That's, that's what's about to go down. That's what's taking place. All right. That's what's happening on the highest scale of things. You got Esau with his little fake, fake plans he think he finna get away with. No, Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, his plan is going to be done. His will is going to be done. Okay? So having that said, Lord willing, I was edifying, uplifting, and exhorting. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Chachorash. Yahweh is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true, holy, powerful, mighty name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and our Savior. Chakorash is the Holy Spirit that speaks through us, that allows us to rightly divide the word of truth and teach the word correctly and directly. The elders of Israel being the apostles and the elders of great millstone never well. Shalom wahabla bachel shalom which is peace and love to the elect of Israel. Shalom machem, brothers keep on pushing, stay sober, stay diligent, stay faithful, stay prayed up. Salvation draweth nigh and redemption is near than we believe. Alright, shalom.